Ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, I cannot join you in person today, but I'm very pleased to be able to contribute a short message by video. About a month ago, HALCOM launched its State of the Baltic Sea 2023 report, which summarizes the main findings from our third holistic assessment of the Baltic Sea. This assessment is the most comprehensive overview of the State of the Baltic Sea environment ever produced. Unfortunately, the results are sobering. Despite decades of effort, the Baltic Sea is not in a good state. This is reflected in particular by the continued degradation of biodiversity, ultimately due to human activities. Eutrophication, pollution from hazardous substances, land use, and overfishing remain the biggest pressures. In addition, climate change increases the risk of biodiversity loss in the Baltic Sea and aggravates the impacts of existing pressures. Our region is already warming faster than the global average. The impacts of climate change have increased in recent years, and this trend is expected to continue in the near future. Urgent and decisive action is imperative to reverse current negative trajectories and to protect and restore the Baltic Sea ecosystem. Fortunately, the assessment also highlights that when regional measures are implemented, they can have a positive impact on the environment. HELCOM's 2021 Baltic Sea Action Plan is a cornerstone in addressing these challenges. Agreed upon by all Baltic Sea countries and the EU, this plan aims to strengthen biodiversity, alleviate environmental pressures, and enhance the overall health of the Baltic Sea ecosystem. It's a roadmap that contains concrete measures and actions to be implemented by 2030 at the latest. Crucially, the plan also aligns with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the EU Marine Strategy Framework Directive emphasizing the global and regional commitment to the cause. Coordinated regional actions have already yielded successes with reductions in nutrient inputs and hazardous substances, as well as actions for biodiversity conservation showing promising results in certain areas. Such coordinated measures are essential to enable the recovery of the Baltic Sea ecosystem over time. Among current key priorities, lowering the input of nutrients to regionally agreed maximum levels in all sea basins remains a central objective. In addition, strengthening the coordination of management measures to limit the introduction of a wide range of hazardous substances is needed. Sea-based activities also need to be carried out more sustainably. Transformative change is therefore called for at all governance levels and across all socioeconomic sectors to protect and rebuild the ecosystem and halt existing negative trends. In this joint effort, local and regional governments emerge as pivotal players, translating global commitments into actionable measures on the ground. By fostering collaboration, raising awareness, and implementing tailored initiatives, they can drive transformative change at the grassroots level. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. I wish you all a fruitful discussion today.